Hello friend and welcome to Tutorials Point. In this video, we are going to learn how to add controls to a form in Microsoft Access 2016. In our previous video, we have already learned how to add control to a report. Now adding control to a form is similar to that. Let's take for an example, I have a form for a customer in which either I can view a record or either I can add a record. In the same form, we can add different controls. Controls like I can skip directly to the first record or I can skip to the previous record. Also in the same form, we can add a control which will guide me to the next record or which will guide me to the last record. As you can see on the screen, I can also add these controls which says I can add a bound text. I can also add an unbound text box. And the third thing is the calculated text box. Now we'll go and try to explore more of this control in our practical approach. Now in order to do that, I have to pull out a form. So I will move to the navigation pane and under the navigation pane under the forms i will pull out this particular form which says order items so i'll simply double click on it and on the right hand side i can see the form has appeared now out here i can see i have the order number i have the menu item and i have the quantity but there's this one thing missing uh let's say that uh, i want to know the exact total price let's say if i order 10 quantities what will be the total price of it so i'm going to add this particular control in this form so in in order to do this, I have to go under the view tab and I have to select the design view to make any kind of changes to this particular form. All right. So I'll move to the view tab and I'll say design tab. So we have this uh, design view out here. Now, as you can see, I have the field list. If I wish to add any other field list, I can add it from here. Okay, so let's go ahead and arrange this particular uh, table. So I'll say I do not want this as of now. I'll remove this and I have the quantity. Now I want the per unit price out here. So what I'll do, I will pull the price from the fields that we have from under, under the menu items. So from the menu item, you can see I have the price of individual quantity. So I'll just pull up this price and I will simply drag it here. So basically I have the price. So let's go ahead and see that whether it's showing the right price or not. So I'll go under the view tab and I'll select, select form. So that's absolutely right. Now I can see that I have the price of each and every menu item. Okay. So now let's go ahead and make the changes accordingly. So again, I'll move to the design tab. Now what I want to do, I want to add a control which help me to calculate the total price. All right. So in order to do that, I have to go to the form design tune and under the design tab, I will select the controls which we have out here. So let's say that I want to add a text box. Okay. So I'll select this text box and I'll simply drag this. Okay. So basically I'll out here I can see the total now as you can see I have added a box out here which will help me to calculate which will basically multiply these two field and give me the answer accordingly all right so let me arrange this okay uh, give me a moment I'll say this will be the total price I'll change the text to total price let's go ahead and just arrange it a little bit so uh, let's say position layout I want it tabular. All right. So, okay. Let me edit this again. All right. I'll select both. I'll right click in the layout. I say stacked so that basically I get per perfect. Okay. Just give me a moment. Yes. So this is giving me a perfect layout, which I have the total price. Let's go ahead and see in the form view. So as you can see in my form view out here, I have the total price, but now I need to add some formula out here. So let's go ahead and do that as well. So under the design view, I will go ahead and I'll type something out here. I'll simply type equals to because my every formula in my office product begins with an equals to sign. So I say equals to quantity. So I, I want the quantity. Right. I'll make sure that I do not make any kind of misspelling error. All right. It's quantity. I'll use the brackets so that uh, it picks the right field. So I want to multiply the quantity by the price. So again, open bracket and I'll type price. Okay. So far, so good. It's look, it looks great. Uh, let me resize this so that, okay. Now it's, it's looking perfect. So let's go ahead and see that whether it's working or not. So I have uh, 
included a control which will help me to calculate the total price of a menu item if I order multiple quantity. So let's go ahead and check this whether it has been applied or not. So under the form view you can see now if I order six quantity of the cupcake which each will cost me 22 it will give me a total of 132 all right let's go ahead and change the quantity now let's say i want to order two quantities so it should come the total price as 44 so i'll simply hit enter so here you go you have the price let's go ahead and select a different one let's say i want to add a cupcake carrot right the single price is 2.5 if i order two it is giving me five that's absolutely right again uh let's say if i order 10 the moment I hit on the tab button, you can see the total price changes. So guys, this is how you can add many controls in a form using the layout, the design view, and you can add the changes and you can make the changes in the form in Microsoft Access 2016.